Let's start with the basics. There are seven symbols in the Roman numeral system. Each symbol is represented by a letter of the English alphabet. You can write any number using a combination of these symbols. Let's take a look at these symbols. First one is letter I, which means 1. The second one is V, which means 5. The third one is X, which means 10. The fourth one is L, which means 50. The fifth one is C, which means 100. The sixth one is T, which means 500. And the seventh one is M, which means 1000. So here we have seven symbols, I, V, X, L, C, D, M. Once again, let's take a look at these symbols. I stands for 1, V stands for 5, L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, and L is 1000. Now let's go through some rules for writing numbers using Roman numerals. The first rule says, repeating a symbol means addition. This is quite simple. What this means is that if you write I three times, then you would add the value of I three times, and the result is 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3. Let's take a look at another example. In this case, we have symbol x written 3 times. Since x stands for 10, we would add 10 3 times. And the answer is 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 30. Now let's go to the next rule. The next rule says that a symbol should not repeat more than 3 times. So you cannot write v, 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 because v is getting repeated 4 times. Let's move on to the third rule. The symbol are always written in the descending order from left to right. It means that you start with greater number on the left, and then the smaller number, and then the smaller number, and so on. So for example, here we have V, I, I, I. Now V, which represents 5, is greater than I, which represents 1. So write 5, and then add 1 to 8. And since I is getting repeated 3 times, so you would add 1 3 times, and the answer is 8. Let's take a look at another example, LXV. In this case, L is greater than X, which itself is greater than 5. So we have 50 plus 10 plus 5, which is equal to 65. What do you think of LCM? In this case, L is equal to 50, which is lesser than C, which is equal to 100, and C is lesser than M, which is equal to 1000. So LCM is incorrect. Now let's move on to subtraction rules. First one says, Smaller number appearing before the larger number is subtracted. Let's start with a simple example, that is ix. Since i is smaller than x, we would subtract i from x, which is equal to 10 minus 1, which is equal to 9. Let's look at another example, xliv. This is a little tricky. Let's start from the left. Since x is less than l, therefore, we would subtract x from l, which becomes 50 minus 10. And then we would add i, but hold on, we have to look towards the right of the i. Since i is less than v, therefore we would first subtract i from v, which is 5 minus 1. Now we would add the result of these two subtractions. So it becomes 40 plus 4 is equal to 44. Next rule says only i, x, and c can be subtracted. That is, you can only subtract 1, 10, 100. Another way to look at this rule is that you cannot subtract V, L, D. That is, you cannot subtract 5, 50, 500. Next rule is continuation of the previous rules. Only I, V, I, X, X, L, X, C, C, D, C, M subtractions are allowed. If you look carefully, we are subtracting I, X, and C from two consecutive greater numbers. So I can be subtracted from 5 and 10, 10 from 50 and 100, and 100 from 500 and 1000. What do you think of XM? 10 cannot be subtracted from 1000, so incorrect. Okay, time to do some reverse exercises. How would you write 990? Let's start with writing 990 in the expanded form. It can be written as 900 plus 90. Now I am going to share a very important trick with you. Every time you see a digit 4 or 9, think of subtraction. What it means, if you see 40, then you should think of writing it as 50 minus 10. Similarly, if you see 90, you should think of writing it as 100 minus 10. So in our example, we would write 900 as 1000 minus 100 and 90 as 100 minus 10. So now, 1000 minus 100 
can be written as CM. Remember the first rule of subtraction? Smaller number appearing before the larger number should be subtracted. Similarly, 90 can be written as XC. So the answer is CMXC. Let's take a look at another complex example, 1982. It can be written in the expanded form as 1000 plus 900 plus 80 plus 2. A thousand is left as it is. Nine hundred can be written as thousand minus hundred. Eighty as fifty plus ten plus ten plus ten, and two as one plus one. So the answer becomes M C M L X X X I I. Thank you.